That's a big fish. That's a really big fish. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get him off the rack here. We're on a giant. Yep. Oh, he's big. Yep, that's a good fish. What up, what up? Welcome back to the Gulf of Mexico and welcome back to Dialed In Angling. If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're about to be on. Okay, starting out with my favorite 200 gram Nomad Streaker. You know me, if you've ever watched the channel, you know me, I've got to get a jig down. Something in me just has to get a jig down. So I'm gonna start off with this 200 gram jig on the Saltiga, get that on the bottom. We've got a ton of marks down there. Let's get that first fish in the boat and then kind of make a game plan from there. I caught a bunch of amber jacks in my last video on the vertical jig, so I wanna do some different things today. I got someone coming in on my spot right now. Get out of here. So, yeah, keep turning. That's the worst when you pull up on a spot and someone comes up right behind you. Anyways, caught a bunch of uh, amber jacks in my last video on the vertical jig, so maybe throw some top water and some plastics today. It's relatively calm. It's supposed to flatten out even more throughout the day. That wind's gonna die down. So let's get that jig down and see what's down there lurking. I'm fully expecting bigs right off the bat. Bet money, fish on the first drop. Bet money. Based on the screen, should be a fish on this first drop. I think I might already be on. Coming up. Yeah, I got hit right there. Ooh. There we go. Starting off with a good one here. Should be an amberjack. Lighting a little more here at the boat. Might be pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Good start to the day. Real nice start to the day. Oh. Really solid one. Nice. So first drop right there, first drop, got on one, right in the corner of the mouth where you want them. Man, if I get on a 40 inch here, it's going to be trouble. I need to keep that boat, I need to keep the boat running so I can pull them off if I need to. Can't ever complain about catching a fish on the first drop. Pretty solid guy right there. Not too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna catch a few of these AJs. Like I said, I caught so many of them the other day. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get on, get on a really big one here. Normally the really big ones will bite when you first show up. So let's see if there's a giant down there and then I'm gonna get on to something else. Oh, there we go. That might be the one. So it came out of something's mouth. Yeah, that's a better fish. Came out of something's mouth. And something else picked it up. 
That's a good fish right here. So if you look at the rod right here, you'll see the tail beats from the AJ where it's trying to dig down. And then all of a sudden, you can tell the rod loads up even more and there's no tail beats and it's like a dead weight. Like I've hooked something that's two or 300 pounds and it's just pulling line effortlessly. Normally that means you got sharked and that's what you don't want. So I was expecting this fish to come up ripped in half or mangled or have a chunk out of it. Check out what happens when I get this fish back to the boat. I think I just got sharked. Freaking sucks. God, that wasn't a shark, that was a grouper. A gigantic grouper just hit that amberjack. Check this out. So if you look, something giant took that fish and I thought it was a shark. You can see right here where he got bit. Look at this. Must have been a giant grouper. A giant grouper piped this 28 inch amberjack. Look at the bite line right here. Not a shark, no teeth. Let's flip them over. This side's even crazier. Look at this. Something bit this, a bit this AJ right here. Wild. Thing was gigantic. Bit him down here on his tail too. Huge fish. Unbelievable. That felt like I hooked a seven foot shark, but that was a gigantic grouper. I fully expected this fish to come back in pieces, but you can see where he got hit and then back there by his tail. See these like abrasion marks? That's a huge grouper, smoked him. So I got on those two AJs back at that last spot and I pushed out here to what I like to call the land of the giants. This, I'm over a 200 foot tower barge right now. So it's got a big tall tower on it, if you can picture that. And uh, you'll catch red snapper, grouper, amberjacks here. I've caught a big barracuda here, a little bit of everything. You pretty much get the whole food chain out here. So I've caught some gigantic amberjacks here. I've yet to drop, screen looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a jig down and uh, see if there's some big AJs out here. Get ready to tow them off the wreck. I'll probably keep the boat idling so I can put it in gear and tow this fish off the wreck so he doesn't get me into it. There's the bottom. I'm almost a little nervous. Yep. Oh, he's big. Yep, that's a good fish. Good. I think he got me into the wreck. I might have him out. Oh, come on. I think I got him. I don't think that's an AJ. Might be something else. He definitely got into the wreck and I got him back out. This is sick. He's, and he's circling. This might be a grouper or a snapper. Oh, no, it's an amberjack. Okay. Solid amberjack. Nice fish right there. That fish I want is down there.
Oh, I'm on. Some hit it on the drop right there. That's a big fish. That's a really big fish. I might have to pull this guy off the wreck with the boat. This thing is enormous. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get him off the rack here. We're on a giant. On a giant. He's taking a lot of line. He's coming this way. I got him moving in the right direction. Oh wow, this is huge guys. This is huge. I'm getting clear of the wreck. I'm getting clear of the wreck. We're looking good. Oh. On a giant right here. I'm idling the boat away from the wreck. Something grabbed this 12 inch plastic as it was dropping. This fish is swimming behind the boat. It's gigantic. There he goes. I did everything I could right there. Everything I could. I mean, I got the boat in gear. I got it off the wreck. Let's see what happened. I might have gotten sharked right there while I was drifting him. We'll never know. Just broke 80 pound braid 